Man, every time you look up, it seems like your boy P. Diddy name is involved in a lot of activity, man. Yeah, we get P. Diddy name being brought up with the whole Pac and Biggie situation. So now, it's even crazy to hear that his name being brought up with allegedly doing freaky activity with a pastor. Now, people hearing the stories of P. Diddy private party events. And guess what? We already know that Cassie, she the one that started it off. She the one that told everybody what P. Diddy was doing behind the scenes. Even though a lot of people already knew what P. Diddy was doing for years. But some people had to keep it private. You want to know why? Because they was part of it. And we talking about big names out there. You understand? I'm talking big names that's part of big entertainment sectors. That's the reason why P. Diddy paid Cassie what he paid her. So that those big names won't come out. But now that they have... There's nothing that P. Diddy can do, but basically ignore or deny what was going on. And we can all see that's exactly what P. Diddy is doing. Because ain't no denying it at this point. Once you got multiple people coming out from the people that he worked with, like artists, producers, bodyguards, and all kind of other entertainers throughout the industry. But now we're dealing with somebody like a reverend, somebody that's really looked up to in our community. And that person is T.D. Jakes. And a lot of people were surprised when they heard that T.D. Jakes was attending P. Diddy's functions. And one of those people happens to be another pastor by the name of Geno Jennings. And he put it out there that he couldn't believe that T.D. Jakes was attending P. Diddy events. He couldn't understand how somebody on that level could stoop down and go to those functions. So he's speaking from the perspective of a lot of people got love for you a lot of people value you in a different way especially from how they see an entertainer so now to hear all these stories are coming out and T.D. Jake's name being brought up as one of the main people that was going to P. Diddy events and based on what we've been hearing we already know what's been going on at P. Diddy private party events and I'm telling y'all it's definitely not holy or spiritual so with that, we got to understand where somebody like Geno Jennings is coming from. It's from a respectable place, but somebody might take it the wrong way. Because I'm telling y'all, it hit different when you hear somebody like a pastor going to P. Diddy functions. Because the thing about it is, Geno Jennings at this point has become the voice of reason. Within the industry, there's been a lot of blurred lines lately. And this P. Diddy scandal has really shed light on that. Meaning to say this... It wouldn't be as surprising to see singers, actors, and other entertainers attending the parties, but once it branches over to people who are supposed to be providing a moral compass to society, then it starts to bring into question everything else. Yeah, especially when you hear what was taking place at those parties. Because Cassie and a couple of P. Diddy bodyguards, they already put it out there. They already broke it down of what was going on at those events. Yeah, you got bodyguards and artists out there that work with P. Diddy that basically broke it down about everything that was going on at those private parties. And I'm telling y'all, a lot of people already knew. And some people didn't even know what they was walking into. You had some artists and other producers who had no clue what P. Diddy was getting into until, again, they attended one of those events. Like I said before, you had some people... They went along with the rodeo show. And then you had some other people, they ain't like it. So once the time came around for another P. Diddy party to come up, those people, they stayed far away. And where it is that T.D. Jakes, he attended multiple of P. Diddy events. So that means he liked what he's seen and what was taking place. And that's what's been the biggest storyline across media as it relates to T.D. Jakes attending these events. Because we all know what goes down in the activities that are definitely risque at the very least. So it's one thing for T.D. Jakes to maybe do some business ventures with P. Diddy and meet with him to discuss ways in which he can spread God's word through maybe some of P. Diddy's secular music. But it's another thing for him to decide to engage in those worldly activities that are so far from any religious affiliation. Because we all know he's definitely not preaching a sermon or talking about the scripture or Holy Ghost while he's at these functions. And that's what Geno Jennings was talking about. He said, what would be the reason why 
somebody like T.D. Jakes would be at P. Diddy events. Won't we already know what's taking place there? So again, the question goes to T.D. Jakes. Why are you at those functions? Were you there when P. Diddy had Cassie doing all type of things? And again, I believe that's what Geno Jennings was speaking on. And then we can't assume that T.D. Jakes was just an innocent bystander. It also calls into question what activities was he engaging in during these private parties. And that's what Geno Jennings is really getting down to. Because you have to understand, he knows better than anyone else the position of a preacher that's supposed to be guiding a very large congregation. So because he's so aware of how everything that is put out gets into the media, that's where he says, all right, now I've been trying to tell you guys before that every preacher, pastor, they not righteous. They not who they say they are. And now that storylines come out like this, that's dealing with a pastor attending multiple of P. Diddy events. That brings into question what other pastors out there doing the same thing. That's very true. And we all know T.D. Jakes is at the height of the pastor sector. And so his exposure is as big as it gets. However, it brings into question the other preachers across the nation that could be engaging in these similar activities on a smaller scale. But what Geno Jennings was trying to address when he did the sermon about T.D. Jakes is the fact that he's not going to turn a blind eye to a fellow preacher engaging in immoral activities. And he wanted to make it clear that that's not a proper representation of his particular position. And T.D. Jakes's approach to replying to Geno Jennings just lets you know how far off the rocker that he's gone. Because instead of addressing the fact that all these allegations are false and that he too sees that there are issues with any of those sorts of activities that are happening at P. Diddy's parties, Instead, he threatens Geno Jennings and says that he's going to have his entire service removed from broadcasting. Which only tells us how true this really is, based around T.D. Jakes attending multiple of P. Diddy functions. Yeah, if it wasn't true, he would automatically deny engaging in any of those activities. But he didn't. He only got to talking about how he felt about Geno Jennings outing him like that. Which goes into the point of him not answering the question. And that's what a lot of people were speaking on. Which is, why were you at P. Diddy events anyway? It's not like it was a fundraiser. And if it was, based on what they was doing there, it was definitely a different type of fundraiser. Yeah, that's real. And in that case, T.D. Jakes, within his position, he should denounce receiving any sort of fundraiser money that would be resulting from those sort of activities. But instead, we know that he not only attended the events, but attended multiple events and now is being accused of different allegations as it goes to foul play. But you know what? That's the truth right there. Because we all know everything is based around money. And the reason why I said it, because based on the amount of money and based on the amount of influence that P. Diddy has, that's the reason why T.D. Jakes was also at those parties because he's trying to get the people that's also at those parties to now donate to his church. So that's the reason why he had no problem going there. Matter of fact, he felt like that was a come up. But the problem with that is he's supposed to be a religious leader and very mindful of the affiliations he carries. And so when you see him with P. Diddy and a lot of the other big stars across the industry, it starts to bring into question what his true intentions are. And then when you see him respond to his congregation with a message, he never does really identify whether or not he was engaging in any sort of foul activities. Instead, he goes into the victimization mode by saying that he is not perfect and he never claimed to be. But it's a big difference between being an imperfect moral leader and posing as a moral leader, but then on the side, engaging in non-righteous activities and drawing money from places that are very foul. Again, that's the perspective that Geno Genis is speaking from because he's trying to enlighten the people based on the worldly activities 
that even pastors, reverends, preachers cannot deny because it's all based on temptation. And that's something that a lot of people can't fight. You understand? But now that you have a pastor like T.D. Jakes being brought down along with P. Diddy, it's going to be interesting to see the domino effects that come from this. So with that, always be aware and always stay prepared. But hey, we got more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.